What is going on guys, this is Raph here, 5 sick here, and today we're on the Benny's website, and yes, you guessed it, we are doing another Benny's car do-up. That was longer winded than I thought. Today, for Alex Day, he commented on the last video saying, can you do up the Moonbeam? And yes, that is what we're going to do. We are, be going, we are going to be doing up the D-Class Moonbeam. And before we get into this video, I just want to say sorry for not uploading on Monday. I was really busy with some schoolwork. I was doing some lovely revision. I've now got some nice postery things up on my wall, which is great. So here you can see the stock car before and the stock car afterwards, if you put it in that modifications. So we're just going to go down. We're going to stick it in red for this one. I don't know why I like red. Red's good. Red's a good color. Red's a nice color. Um, I don't really care what my brother... Right, so again, yeah, like I said, I'm on my brother's account because I am way too poor to do this. Who needs a panto? I'll replace it with a panto. I'm sure he'll be fine with it. So, just brought the D-Class Moonbeam. It's on its way. I'll catch up with you guys when it's delivered and I'll uh, probably bring you back when we're just outside Benny's like last time. So we're outside Benny's, you can see it just there. And the first thing I noticed about this car is it has a red colour around the like bottom of the car and the orange around the top and the tyres. Which is really good because some people really like their secondary primary colour cars so they can have a bit of a contrast between the colours. So we're just going to drive it in now. It's not very fast to start with but I wasn't expecting it to be because it's a van. So we're just going to pull it in. Didn't crash it. Good. That's the first time I think I've ever got any without crashing. So what I'll do is I will show you how much it is to purchase the actual upgrading. So there you go. It's 370000 to upgrade it in general. So we're just going to click that. So as you can see, it just looks amazing already. So we're going to get going. And uh, yeah, you guys know what's coming up, don't you? What is it? What is it? That's right. It's a montage. Let's go. So this is the final product, I really like how it came out. As you probably saw, I was a little bit indecisive about what colours I should use. Um, at one point I did have like a pinky purple, which looked really good, but I kind of decided to change it. So the paint job I went with is Ice White, and it's all the way through, and it's a matte Ice White, with the Pure Graphics livery on top. I think it looks really nice. And on the wheels, I was thinking about doing the white bit around the outside, but then I decided to go with the red one because it kind of really pops, it really pops out at you, and the first thing you see is the red wheels, and then as your eyes move up, the car just gets cooler and cooler. Of course, it wouldn't have been me if I hadn't have put a bit of lime green in it, so I decided to put the lime green lights. They look really cool. There you go. From the back, they look absolutely awesome, and again, they just stand out, they just pop into your eyes. I think it's because... White, it's not a dull colour, it's just a very neutral colour, so any any colours really pop out on it, but lime green just looks really cool. So we're just going to go for a little bit of a test drive, so you can see the kind of speed and handling. And it's not the best handling, because I do have this car myself, and they got to even like just going around a simple corner, it kind of skids out, but it, lo it, you know, it looks make up for it. So yeah, I wouldn't suggest this car for any missions or anything like practical because it's not the best handling it's not the fastest and that doesn't have the most armor 
but it does look cool. So if you just want to cruise around with your mates, you know, shooting some people, causing mayhem in the city of Los Santos, then yeah, you can do it in this car and you look cool doing it. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this video kind of informational. You can see what kind of colors you could get, what it would look like. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, they do have hydraulics like that. So you can jump, you can go down, you can go up. And you can just low ride. Obviously, you don't go when you jump. You don't go as high as the other low riders because it's like, you know, as expected, it's a heavier vehicle, it's a bigger vehicle. So, yeah. As I was saying, I hope you find it informational. Um, I hope you kind of took away some of the paint jobs you can have a look at, what it will look like in the end, what you can get. And especially for you, Alex Day, I presume you wanted to see it so that maybe you were thinking about getting one or um, anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed, especially. And yeah. My name's Rathi if I sick. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah,